uh, four o'clock. It's starting to cool off a bit. Uh, we're gonna try that lagoon. Luckily enough, I brought the float tube with me. And just beside the resort, there's a really good looking lagoon. That lagoon is literally 300 meters away from, from the flat we rented. We're just in the corner, here, and here, just down there. Look at this. There's the rock mark over there at the point. We had a mixed success from it. It's loaded with mullets. Sometimes you see them going mad on the surface. There's some right in front of me there. So, if there's food, we should have a few predators hanging about. Well, that's what I'm hoping for. Another day of nothing. Uh, I'm right on the incoming high tide. It's coming in into the lagoon here. And again, just nothing to be seen. Loads of mullets. Loads of mullets and small fish. I mean, if you put a small clouser, you get loads of small fish. But I'm not here for that. Uh, the quest continues. And uh, hopefully I'll get something by the end of my holidays. But it's a tough spot. It's a beautiful spot. But it is super tough. I'm gonna keep hammering it. Something's gotta come. Never give up. I've done a good few DIY trips so far and this one was certainly the most difficult and challenging one. I always try to do as much research as I can before any trip. Um, flies, uh, where to fish, when to fish and once I'm on the ground I usually spend many hours trying to observe the water for any sign of fish activity. Pelicans and other seabirds are always a good help for me but this time I could not see any seabird, anything on the water. The place was just just bare. Um, even local fishermen, I couldn't see any any boats. So what I resorted after a while was just to get the drone and get some good footage, of course, and try to see what was happening around. With clear water like this, um, any dark shape of larger fish would be fairly easy to spot.
starting from around 2011, the sargassum seaweed started to cause a major problem for many Caribbean resorts. The warming of the oceans uh, is accelerating the growth of this pelagic seaweed to the point of being a really big problem now. Winds and currents bring huge quantity of this seaweed on a regular basis. Uh, you can see floating barriers trying to, to stop this problem, but uh, I'd say after every hurricane season they just get destroyed. To give you an idea of how much seaweed comes in these shores every day, that particular beach here was clean on a daily basis. They had a, a tractor with some kind of a sweeping device behind, picking up all that seaweed, and that's only 24 hours of seaweed, fresh seaweed coming from the sea. Um, from reading different websites, this year is not particularly a bad year for the sargassum seaweed invasion. So sometimes I wonder, is that the problem? Uh, cause that I had to face to have so such a lack of fish from the shore. The resorts were fairly deserted where we were staying. Uh, not too many people staying around deserted streets, not too many cars about and same with the local beach. Very few people on it. So we did like every tourist do, uh, enjoy the sunshine and uh, enjoy a few drinks as well and rethink my old strategy how to find a few fish. <laughs> I had a lot of hopes for, for that lagoon beside the house so I, I put the drone up and uh, tried to look at the pattern and see what these mullets were doing and uh, after a couple of hours observing and trying to find any larger fish I finally found a few small barracudas so I decided to go back the next day on foot. I finished this episode with the, one of the highlights of the trip, uh, a big jack that took a popper on the outside of the lagoon. Uh, and that morning I, I pulled the hook on a big barracuda. Uh, I mean the rocks were so jaggedy and the fish knew exactly where to go. It wasn't easy from the shore, but I gave my best anyway. Thanks for watching guys. He's got some strength. Okay, let's go for a popper. Seen a few barracuda today. I was just light gear. Yeah, I see it over there. It's a good jack. It's a good jack. It's now five minutes and I'm, I'm hooked up to this. I don't know how I'm going to land it. Oh, he wants to go back to this rocks over there. I do not want him to go there. He's slowing down. Oh. Yeah, that's a big jack.
the rocks here are terrible. Let's see if we can land him here. It's a big jack. Woo! Come on, baby. These things just don't give up. The hook pulled out. Oh man. I lost the I lost the good kuda today. And now this one. I had to give him some welly. This is this is unforgiving ground. Ah oh, this is good. Woo! <laughs>